Me versus Cnex Core TVP round of I hope it's yeah it's round of 32 round of 32 match let me fix my board real quick one second guys almost ready And Xenix Core is blue. Protoss. So, in the lower left hand corner here of Teldurum Altar, we have our purple Terran. This is Jimmy. This is Jimmy, I believe, is an American player. He is definitely a North American player. Um, yes, and he is a United States player. In the lower right hand corner, we have from the clan Xenix, who has a lot of Koreans participating in the tournament today, which is just so cool to me. The blue Protoss Xenix Core. So this will be a really, really cool match. Tell Darum Alter. We do have close spawn. Could be an action-packed match. It'll be really interesting. One thing I've noticed about watching uh, Pult play today, aside from the one long spawn TVT, and even then he was pretty aggressive, but the long spawn TVT on Metalopolis, um, they are very, very aggressive players. They're never going to let you sit there and, and, and think. Um, They're constantly going to distract you, even the drops, whatever. It is just so incredible to watch these guys play. We do see his use his first Chrono Boost on his Nexus. Very, very standard. We do see this as Jimmy is choosing to wall out here. Um, you know, against Protoss, there's really nothing wrong with the turn walling. It can uh, deal with any sort of early Zealot pressure, any sort of proxy pressure. We do see the Barracks is back here. Um, and if there's any sort of Dark Temple or anything, of course, can push that out. And see the barracks going on here, and he does take the 13 gas. And we can see that uh, Xenix Core is going to scout right away, and it does appear he is going to scout close. I mean, this is this is technically I I, would, I usually refer to this as close spawn, and this is I guess quote unquote close air, not really. Um, but he is going to scout up here first. Um, and we can see that this is Jimmy is making the same decision to scout up here. You typically, I, I, you feel a little bit, a little bit more vulnerable to these positions just because um, of the abuse of the cliff and everything like that. So we can see for um, this is Jimmy. He is just completing his Raxus orbital command. Will go down for Pult. We do see his gateway going down. He does have a gas that just finished. So it was looks like it was about a 13 gas. Very very standard. Cybernetic score is going down. Nice spotting pylon. In the corner there, we do see a tech lab going down on the barracks for this is Jimmy pretty quickly. We have seen the quick reaper play is very very popular today. Um, for all players against all races, a lot of Terrans against all races, I mean, a Quick Reaper is great, you can pick off a probe, that's great, if you keep it alive, no big deal. It's a free scout, they're mineral cheap units, and typically in the early game, um, the minerals are what's going to help strengthen your early economy. And we can see very interesting, almost like a Zerg player, he put guys on gas, um, bait enough, took enough gas to build the tech lab and to get the Reaper. And they pull guys off gas. Really, really cool strategy. It's almost like a Zerg that gets speed and then pulls guys off. The Reaper's going to make him feel pretty safe, because obviously the Reaper can kite any sort of Zealot. He doesn't need to get out the Quick Marauder, per se, until a Stalker comes up. You can see the gas is finishing right here. Looks like it was about a 21 gas, and he is Chrono Boosting out the Stalker. Um, and it is... I w would be curious to see what he uses this next Chrono Boost on, if he's going to use it on his Warp Gate tech, or maybe get that Stalker out a little bit quicker. Um, he could be afraid of a quick Reaper. Obviously, until you get that Stalker out, you are pretty vulnerable to Reaper. He is now going to see the Reaper. He's going to be able to pick up this probe. He's probably going to be able to pick up the Zealot, too. We can see that Xenix Core is immediately moving the Zealot away. He's going to try and see if he can get him to miss Micro here, but I doubt that's going to happen. We can see a Command Center going down for this. is Jimmy. Very quick expansion with a Bunker. Will the Zealot scout it? He will scout the Command Center. That is so much information for Xenix Core um, that he now has. And this is Jimmy, on the other hand. What does he know he does have this SCV in here but he hasn't seen much of his base yet he obviously knows that it wasn't like a nexus first build or anything we can see the stalker is moving over here he's anticipating the reaper coming up this side of the cliff so smart already anticipating but the, the SCV does get in you can see he is saving up chrono boost on that nexus pretty interesting and we have two gateways are going down um, we can see that this Reaper is just sort of hanging out over here, but this is Jimmy. That SCV really paid for itself. Um, in this is Jimmy's base, we can see that uh, we do have stim pack starting, usually a sign of an, maybe a more aggressive Terran. And we have two more barracks going down back to Xenix bases. We can see that the three gates are coming down. He is now a Chrono Boosting Warp Gate out of his Cyber Nexus Core. Perhaps he was waiting to see what his opponent was going to do um, to make sure there was no early cheese if he had to Chrono Boost it out, or he's saving it for some sort of a uh, Warp Gate push. We do see that Warp Gates are about to finish. Um, he is banking a good bit of gas here. It'll be really interesting to see if his next structure is a Nexus. He does have 400 minerals saved up. If his next structure is a Nexus or some sort of tech. Um, but with the 400 minerals saved up, I would assume that he is about to possibly... No! Throw down two more gateways in the back. He's a total of five gates now for Xenix Core. 
So it looks like he is going to go some sort of heavy pressure build on this fastest man. He wants to punish it. This is Jimmy. On the other hand, we can see three bunkers going up. Um, pretty safe. He's going to have to pull SCVs to guard this. Really pretty interesting here. We can see that this Stalker does have the tower and is nice and safe. And this Reaper is sitting here to see what's going on. The probe is coming out. He sees that probe. That's going to tell him a lot when he sees that probe right there. Um, there might be pressure coming. So we see 5 day pressure. Very, very heavy sentry build right now for Xenix Core. And he does have a lot of gas built. It's possible that he's going to go this sentry heavy build. He anticipates the bunkers at front. He can force field around the bunkers to prevent the repair. Use stalkers to pick off the bunkers. And then the marines versus stalkers is, is just not going to turn out quite well for the marines as long as it is micro properly. You can see this is Jimmy is supply blocked. Ouch! And his supply depot is only about a third of the way done. He's building bunker after bunker. He does sense the pressure coming, I think. Um, and he did scout these two gateways back here. So he does know that they are on the way. He does know there's a high pressure build coming. He keeps picking off that probe, and we do only have this pile on it. And this is delaying the push. And every second he delays this push is a second closer to Stim, which is about to finish. And more bunkers. Look at all these bunkers going up for this is Jimmy. And we can see that Xenex Core is probably going to... Oh, sentry, he now has a total of nine sentries and one stalker. He just warped in three more zealots. This is so cool. I cannot wait to see what he does with this push. Um, and we can see Combat Shield is going down for this is Jimmy. Um, if we look at the Harvest Scout, obviously this is Jimmy is going to be ahead, but he is quite vulnerable right now. And we can see he's unloading. He's got four SCVs already back here ready to um, repair. He does know this pressure is coming. We're burying units back and forth. Interesting. Oh, look at it. He's got all his rallies set up on his bunker, so I guess as each bunker goes down, he can rally Marines back into the back. Really, really cool. We do see the pylon is going down. Xenix Corp. Um, we'll put another pylon down here on the high ground. We see, uh, waiting for this next round of warpings. I'm really curious to see. I assume that with nine sentries, he probably won't be warping in any more sentries, but he's going to try and block out all the repair back here at the sentries. We can see five zealots, so he's going to attack with the zealots in the front, sentries in the back to prevent the repair. Really can't wait to see this. Guardian shield is going up. We can see the zealots going back. Look at the force fields coming down the back. It's going to block up all the repair. The zealots doing all sorts of DPS at the front. These marines cannot even touch the sentries in the back. And look at this. He's taking out bunker after bunker. The repair is completely ineffective. The zealots are now getting into the marines. And now we have a whole bunch of sentries in the stock. We have another warp of zealots coming in here. Uh, this is Jimmy. He's pulling all of his marines up front. He does stim. His stim pack is out. The zealot does go down. And the marines are very, very weak from stimming, though. Although these sentries are a lot of very, very low health. He's pulling all of his SCVs out to repel this attack. If he can repel this attack, he will be quite ahead in the game. So we can see him. He's coming down. The zealots are getting hit by the SCVs. The marines are hitting him down. He does lose a lot of SCVs. It does look like he's going to hold this. Look at this. What a hold by this is Jimmy. Incredible micro with his marines here. He needs to back off these zealots. He's stimming so much. His, th his units are so weak. This is really, really close right now. It does look like this is Jimmy. Will hold. I don't know. It's so close. We're down to five marines. Another zealot coming in. We have four marines versus a stalker. It does have stim though. We can see another warband of a zealot coming back in. Four more marines in production for this is Jimmy. We have a zealot and a stalker versus marines. This is Jimmy has held. Xenix Core has to keep up this pressure. This is definitely an all-in build. But wow, what a great game so far. Xenix Core continuing to produce off those five gateways, which is hard to sustain off one base. He's gorping in stalker after stalker. He's going to force this is Jimmy to pull SCVs to deal with the stalkers because he only has marines. Um, but he is coming up. Is he going to force a stim? He's trying to force a stim here, I think, but he hasn't quite done it yet. We can see he's coming up. He's just picking away these marines, trying to pick one by one by one. Um, I assume him. he's waiting for this marauder to come out to engage. He does 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 have marauder slow out. The marines are going to push him back down the ramp. We can see that Xenix Core is just continuing to produce units. Five gateways off one base. It's going to be hard for him to uh, sustain, and he's so far behind in economy. With the Marauder out, it's going to be hard to deal. The Zealots are going down. He's cutting back, cutting back. He's going to take out the Zealot. He's not going to try and push up on the Stalkers. With the Marauder slow, the Stalkers are not able to kite the Marines away. The Marine DPS is eating away at the Stalkers. The Medevac is out, climbing in the stim, and he has held the all-in. He's taking down the pylon. He's warping in two more Stalkers. It's not going to be enough. I don't see uh, Xenix his core is going to be able to do anything about this. What a neat hold by this is Jimmy. Such a cool game so far. Warping in two more Zealots. Down here at the low ground pylon, and this is Jimmy's economy is kicking in. He is up by almost 35 in supply. I don't think all the micro in the world is going to be able to serve Xenex Core here. And obviously, if he doesn't win with this attack, he is so far behind in the game, and he is never going to get him. We see the GG, so well played by this is Jimmy. What an impressive game. What a cool all-in by Xenex Core, but this is Jimmy was just ready for it and microed like a pro.